Hello, it's Mr. Wathi here, and today we'll be doing another Arduino lab. Today we're looking at a reflective IR sensor, and what we're going to be doing is uh, coding this little guy here so that when it detects a light surface, this LED turns on, and when it detects no surface or a dark surface, it will stay off. All right, so I got this guy from Adafruit. I'm not, I don't get paid for uh, promoting this or anything. Uh, some of you might know, I am a high school teacher and we like to do the sumo bot. I found this was uh, pretty inexpensive online, so I bought a bunch. And I'll be kind of recreating this, a little bit of a twist. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of other kind of reflective IR sensors and we'll go more in detail how, how these things work um, and why we use it in my class. We use, do something called sumo bot where there's this uh, two of these, we make these two little robots. They try to push each other out of the ring. And the outside of the ring is white, the inside's black. And so this little IR sensor helps us to know, or helps the robot to know, where's the boundaries? It's important to know. No sensors, no contact with the outside world. And so, you know, before we get to building the circuit, let's just take a quick look of what is this little sensor built made of made up of and I'll send I'll uh, copy this link down in the for the description down below. So on the left side here we have just a basic uh, IR LED, infrared LED. And so we just want to keep that guy on. And on the other side is a the detector. It's the a photo transistor. And so like a transistor has one side they call the collector. On the other side is the emitter. And usually there's a base and the base is it kind of like turns on it's like a switch right so it turns on the uh, the transistor allows the electricity to flow from the collector to the emitter but instead of a base it uh it gets triggered by light that's pretty much it so dark objects absorb you know absorb the light light objects are more reflective and that's how this guy works or even if you have a dark really reflective surface it might also trigger this and so we're creating this circuit just without this potentiometer. Having a potentiometer is always good to uh, be able to make some adjustments, but hey, who cares? So let's get started. Um, again, I'll be using Tinkercad circuits. So let's get started with a breadboard and an Arduino. And right away, as always, I'll power that breadboard up. And um, unfortunately, Tinkercad circuits don't have a reflective IR. So I'm going to do a little makeshift thing here. So I'll show you what an image of, you know, this is what we want, right? Um, this is what we're going to do instead. So we're kind of breaking down this component right here into just an LED, and this is a phototransistor. But guess what? The coding's all the same. And the simulation works great. So I'm going to pop an LED there, and I'll copy and paste, grab another LED, this will be our trigger one, and let's just change that color. I'll make it blue, and I will also, this is the guy that we want. So this here, if I, if I hover over it, it's a photo transistor, so that's like one side. And uh, let's also just grab a basic transistor so we know what we're talking about. Um, so I'll put the circuit down below as a little screenshot as well as the uh, circuit diagram so we know what we're making. But again, this is a transistor. There's a collector, there's an emitter, there's a base in the middle. Here we have a collector, an emitter, em emitter, and instead of a base in the middle, we're able to change the light. And as, as things get bright here, that's like the, the base being triggered, if that makes sense. And that allows electricity to flow from the collector to the emitter. Okay. So let's continue building our circuit. So this guy right here, all that we want to do is just power it up with a, uh, let's go four, let me see here. Add a fruit, when you buy it, they give you a 470 and 10K resistor. So what I'm going to do is make this four, 470, that's what it is, 470 ohms. And that side goes to ground, the side goes, I'm just gonna plug it right into uh, pin 13. 
Nah, let's make it big 12. And let's make this side here. This side here, we're going to also use a um, let's see here, collector. Yeah, so the collector, we want that to go from 5 volt. And on the other side, if you watch one of my past videos uh, where I use a button, I think it's probably video number 5 or doing a lab 5. Um, it's, it's really the same way. So I have something called a drop down resistor here. And I want this to be my signal going into 11. And I can just color that different because I want to. And then finally, I have a LED on this side. Let's just put a resistor there so we don't burn out that LED. Um, I find 330 works. You can do 330, 220, whatever. 1K even works. Let's change the brightness. And let's just drop that down to ground. And this side here. 13. Okay, so let's start doing the coding. So what we want to do here is that when 11, digital pin 11 is detected, we want to trigger on 13. So let's try, let's do that. So as always, always set, start with this setup and are doing a loop forever. And we want to have an if statement. And what we're saying is if, yeah, let's do that one. Um, and in input, the large state of digital pin. If this pin here, pin 11, is high, and again, under math, we have whoa it doesn't let me do that that's exciting actually that totally makes sense because what we want is the high there we go 11 is high what do we want to do well we want to turn on this guy which is pin 13. so go to out put pin digital to high and I want to have the other side, the else. Let's do that. And instead of high, let's put it to low. That's pretty simple. Um, usually I, I would make a variable for uh, for this guy right here. Um, yeah, actually, let's do that right now. This is called IR sensor underscore sensor. I'll set it equal to that. It's just better coding practice. But I'm no, no, no means an expert, so if you find a better way to do this, let me know. So I'm going to copy this, pop this into Tinkercad circuits, and see what happens. No, I want text. Okay, Control A, Control V to paste. Start my simulation. And I click on this guy to control the amount of light hitting this. Um, and you know what? Before, you know, like this works, but I, you know, I messed up because this would actually not work if I was using my R sensor because this side is actually not on. So there's no light to reflect to the phototransistor. So what I need to do is just power up pin 12. I could, you know, I could pop this here and this would work. Um, but I like the idea of being able of, of being able to control that. So just in case I want to turn it off for some reason. So what I'm going to do, output, just in the setup, I'll just turn pin 12 to high. So let's copy that code and see what happens. Again, if it doesn't work, you just try something else out and see what might be the best. There we go. So as the amount of light that's been reflected to it so this would be like a lighter light surface i would reflect more of the ir light um infrared light and uh, it would detect more and that would trigger this to be on so this here i'm just using this infrared um we're using this as a model for where's that image that i had using it as a model for this Right. 
it works the same thing the code is the same again this is plugged in this is as as a digital sensor right so it's just on or off personally i think it would be more useful if i plug it into uh, one of the analog pins so actually let's let's try that out and see what would happen okay so i'm going to take this and just change this to a zero um i don't like how that sits let's just do this that's a little better not oh let's go back to yellow and now i want to change this code for an analog um and i'll probably use serial monitor to see what values uh, get printed out for that okay so this is great for digital just on and off but then we have no way to to change the threshold so what i want to do here is delete that and i want to say if when ir sensor is i don't know greater than this is where we can use our number or math let's say i don't know 500 when it's greater than 500 um what we want to turn the LED and pin 13 on when it's less than we want to turn the pin or sorry the LED and pin 13 low and what the another thing we have to change here since we're not using a digital we're using analog we want to read the analog value from analog input a zero so let's copy that over paste that in here and again a lot of this is uh, kind of a a uh, what's what I'm looking for a refresher of some of my older videos but it's good to see it so you know I turn that on okay so it, it gets triggered um, but I don't really know what values are being uh, being you know inputted being being read right here so this is where you want to use the serial monitor and serial communications right here so I'll just set the initial speed to 9600 and if you want like a kind of detailed explanation of what I'm doing here, I suggest uh, looking at my video, Arduino Lab number four, I'll put that in the in the description down below. And so what I want is this guy right here. So print so port, I'll say um, IR sensor or just sensor value, sure. And followed by a number and the number that I want there is the sensor value. Go to new line. Yes, I want a new line. Copy that and paste it. So let's see what happens. And this is, we'll click on the serial monitor. Right now we're at zero because it's pitch black. Turn it on a little bit and you see that, yeah, I'm getting triggered. And we see that the mat, it maxes out at 10, 10, interesting. Um, we notice that the way this one's working that there's you know there's a lot of slider going on here but not a lot of change in values and that there's a lot of change just in this little bit here um and that's when this guy gets triggered cool so if i were wanted to put this in you know an actual arduino i would open up the arduino ide which is currently loading and whoop, I'll just delete that previous code. I would copy this, select all, copy it, paste it in here. Plug, make, you know, make sure my circuit is all wired correctly, which I have in front of me. Plug it into the Arduino. You go tools. You have to make sure you choose the right port. You want to choose the one that says Arduino Uno um, in brackets. And then you hit that button right here to upload. And that's uploading the code to the Arduino just as we speak. And then now I can click on serial monitor up here. And we see this right here. So right now I do not have uh, anything in front of it. And here I'm just putting my, my finger there. And as it gets closer, it changes the value. But if I take a white piece of paper and bring it close, it can really bring those values up. And so there's kind of a sweet spot depending on, on how close you want to get to there. All right. So again, you can try different materials, try something that's dark. And I'll take a video of this and post it as well. 
So in today's lab, we use Tinkercad circuits and block layer Arduino to program a opto reflector or a reflective IR sensor. And this is often used as sumo bots, but it's a great way to detect kind of light and dark surfaces or something that's reflective or not. And um, yeah, that's, that's all I got. So please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment below. I look forward to seeing you in my future videos.